welcome to the video lecture series of satellite communication today i am going to discuss multiple choice questions based on satellite channel and link design let me tell you that you have already studied about general link design equation first transmission equation you know what is system noise temperature what is carrier to noise ratio what is g by f also you have derived the complete link design equation so all of these topics you have already studied which comes into this particular heading so now let us discuss the multiple choice questions and begin today's lecture first question is what do you understand by eirp eirp is effective isotropic radiated power you know option b is the correct option second question what is the loss of power of satellite downlink because of earth's atmosphere what is that particular loss which is because of the earth's atmosphere you have derived the equation where you know that uh, the path loss the term of the path loss exists over there path loss is what it is being written as 4 pi r upon lambda its whole square so the correct option is d third question what should be the determining factor in selecting a satellite system what should be that particular factor which is of more importance options are effective isotropic radiated power antenna size coverage a c and antenna gain so c is the correct option this is the important factor which should be considered over there yes this is correct question number 4 is the satellite link ber typically is around ber is bit error rate and for satellite link it's around 10 raised to the power minus 6 you have to remember it this is the correct answer next question for a satellite the carrier to noise ratio depends on what are those factor upon which carrier to noise ratio depends you know that carrier to noise ratio can be written as it's a pt gt gr upon k t b lambda upon 4 pi r and its whole square pt gt is eirp so c by n ratio depends on effective isotropic radiated power which is the option b bandwidth b free space loss which is this particular term it means all these three terms so d would be the correct answer question number 6 is for a clear sky condition identify the correct equation of loss you know that the equation of loss can be written as 4 pi r this is what 4 pi r upon lambda its whole square this term is actually the free space loss and you used to consider this term everywhere and what are the other losses other losses are atmospheric attenuation the uh, losses because of the polarization and all so here you see a is the correct option it includes the maximum types of losses over here let us check the answer this is a correct as well which is the first transmission equation question number 7 first transmission equation you know that have written in the previous cases as well power received is what pt gt gr lambda upon 4 pi r its whole square first transmission equation relates the power received with the power transmitted along with the gain of the transmitting receiving antennas and the distance between the satellite and the earth station is the major factor so c is the correct option question number 8 what is the formula for noise power spectral density noise power spectral density is defined for per unit bandwidth you know n is denoted for noise and n not is for noise power spectral density and noise power spectral density is what n upon b 
सो एन नॉट विल बी वॉट टी एन अपॉन बी एन और दिस इज इक्वल टू के इन टू टी एन सो सी विल बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप्स ऑफ एंटेना लॉसेस वॉट आर द काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट लॉसेस इन द केस ऑफ द विच आर एसोसिएटेड विथ एंटेना सो हेयर यू रीड ऑल दीज टर्म्स स्काई नॉइस is a type of antenna loss antenna losses will be considered over there sky noise and antenna losses means all these terms are important and these are going to be considered so d is the correct option next question take the correct expression for noise factor what is the correct expression for the noise factor noise factor is what f into g into k into t where t is the temperature so you remember the expression and directly you can write it down as a is the correct option which actually is it next is which is the equation of system noise temperature you have studied that and you have derived the expression of system noise temperature as well system noise temperature is denoted by ts and when you are going to derive this particular equation you have to consider all the three components means there will be a receiver stage then there will be a mixer and after this mixer there must be a if and you have to consider the contribution of each and every unit if g r f is the gain of r f unit g of m is the gain of mixer and g of i f is the gain of i f unit and their associated terms of temperature t r f t m t i f and antenna temperature which is also being contributed which is t a and t now you can write down the expression ts will be what t antenna temperature plus trf plus tm upon grf gain of the first unit plus temperature of the next unit upon gain of the previous units so it would be option c let us check this is the correct one next is write the equation for c by n not ratio c by n you already know c by n is what this is pt gt gr upon ktb lambda upon 4 pi r and its whole square and when you are calculating c by n not it means you have to remove this particular term from here b n not is what n upon b so what would be this particular term ptgt which is the eirp ei rp into gr upon t into 1 upon free space loss so if you are writing in it in dbs so c by n not is what ei rp plus g upon t minus losses minus k so option number a is the correct one moving ahead next question is atmospheric drag has negligible effect on on which particular orbit it has a negligible effect read all the terms options being given over here meo geostationary satellites low earth orbit and none of these so atmospheric drag has negligible effect on the geostationary satellites option b is the correct one because its height is very high so it doesn't have much effect of the atmospheric drag question number 14 is for a parabolite antenna 
the isotropic power gain is it is given by g is what eta 10.472 f into d its whole square you are using this particular equation number of times that is why you won't take much time to find the correct option let us check yes this is the correct one next question is relationship between noise factor and noise temperature noise factor is denoted by f and noise temperature is denoted by t here so what is the relationship it can be written as t e is equal to f minus 1 into t not so b would be the correct option Next question is question number sixteen. Earth station figure of Marat is defined as so. Figure of Marat is defined by G by T ratio, and if you are writing it in dBs, it would be ten log G by T, and the base of log would be ten only. So the option C is the correct one. Next is define uplink. What do you understand by uplink? you have already studied when a earth station is transmitting some signal and it is being transmitted towards satellite then this particular link is known as the uplink so uplink of a satellite circuit is one in which earth station is transmitting the signal and satellite is receiving it so here this is the transmitter and this is the receiver so check out the correct option option number b is the correct one here earth station is the transmitter and the satellite is the receiver question number 18 is necessary condition to reduce intermodulation noise how the intermodulation noise can be reduced intermodulation noise can be reduced if and only if traveling wave tubes are operated in bo condition a is the correct option question number 19 is what is the expression for c by n ratio i have written number of times what is c by n you know that c by n once again let me write it it's a pt gt gr upon k t b lambda upon 4 pi r its whole square so c by n is what it is being written in dbs so here you can see pt gt is what eirp plus g minus t and this term denotes the 1 upon free space loss so accordingly you can write it like that and you can verify a is the correct option next question if carrier to noise ratio is less than carrier to interference the satellite link is here you see carrier to interference this term is higher than carrier to noise ratio so this term will be higher if and only if the denominator is lesser in comparison to denominator of this it means noise will be higher than the interference and when the noise is higher than the interference the type of satellite link is noise dominant and this is the correct answer as well question number 21 is a satellite downlink operates at 12 gigahertz with a transmitted power of 6 watt and antenna gain of 48.2 db calculate the eirp eirp you have to calculate and you know that eirp is what pt into gt pt is the transmitted power gt is the gain of the transmitting antenna so here gain of the transmitting antenna is given in dbs so we will convert the transmitted power which is pt in dbs as well and then it will be solved uh, directly eirp i have told you this is a product of pt into gt and when you are writing in dbs it can be written as eirp in dbs what pt in db plus gt in db 
but since pt is being given which is 6 watt so let us convert it into the dv it would be 10 log of 6 and gt is given which is 48.2 dv simplify this term 10 log of 6 you will be getting this value as 7.78 plus 48.2 and the sum of this you will be getting 55.98 dB which is what the EIRP. Now let us check it with the given options. It's 55.98 so you can approximate it as 56 dB and this is the option number D. So correct option is this D. Let us check. Question number 22 is the range between a ground station and a satellite is 40,000 km. Calculate the path loss at frequency 11 gigahertz. The formula of the path loss, you know it's 4 pi r upon lambda, it's whole square. Let us solve it. R is being given which is 40,000 km. So that is what 40,000 into 10 is to the power 3 meter. Operating frequency is given 11 gigahertz. So let us calculate the value of lambda. Lambda is what C upon F. From here you have calculated the lambda. Path loss you have to calculate in dBs. So let us write in dB. This will be what? Here it's a square. So it would be 20 log 10 4 pi r upon lambda. Now just substitute all these values, you know 4 pi is 3.14, r is what? It's 4 into 10 raised to the power 6 upon lambda is, see r, the value of r is 40,000, so it will be four zeros. Here it will be 40 into 10 raised to the power 6 and in the denominator you have to place the value of lambda which is 2.727 into 10 raised to the power minus 2. Now simplify this. Check this particular value after simplification it you will be getting it as 205 point 3 dB and this is the option number D because if you are simplifying this bracket value you will be getting around 18.42 into 10 raised to the power 9 then 20 log of this particular value it will gives you 205.3 dB and this is the correct answer as well. Next question is in a satellite system the downlink transmission rate is 60 megabits per second. If the required energy per bit to noise power density is 8 bit, what is the required carrier to noise ratio? Means you have to calculate carrier to noise ratio. What is the relationship between carrier to noise ratio and energy bit to noise power density? C by N naught. This is noise power spectral density. This is what EB upon N naught plus RB. And the value of RB is being given. RB is what? RB is 60 megabits per second. So this is 60 megabits per second. This particular value is being given in dBs. This is 8 dB. So first convert it into the dB. This will be what? 10 log 60 into 10 raised to the power 6. Now simplify it. This value you will be getting as 77.8 dB hertz. And the value of this is what? 8 dB is given. So what would be? C upon N naught, this will be 8 plus 77.8 which is coming out as 
8 db. This is the option C. So, this is the correct answer. Let us check. Yes, this is the correct one. Question number 24 is, for a satellite circuit, the individual link carrier to noise ratio means uplink carrier to noise ratio is given which is 15 and downlink carrier to noise ratio is given which is 20 and you have to calculate the overall carrier to noise ratio. The relationship between overall carrier to noise ratio and uplink C by N and downlink can be written as. So here what is this C by N not for the uplink it is being given as 15 so it would be what 1 upon 1 upon 15 plus 1 upon 20. Now simplify this particular term this would be what 20 into 15 upon 20 plus 15 which is 35. So you will be getting this as 8.57. Let us check out of these given options. This is option A. So this should be the correct one. And this is actually the correct answer. Moving ahead, next question is, a satellite earth station antenna has a gain of 10 raised to the power 6 and a noise temperature of 100 Kelvin, the earth station G by T in dBs. So you know that G by T in dBs, it can be written as the value of G in dB minus T in dB. Convert these two values into dBs or first another way is alternative. You first calculate the G by T which is 10 raised to the power 6 upon 100. So this is what 10 raised to the power 4. Now convert it into dB. So this will be 10 log, its base is 10, 10 raised to the power 4, so it would be 40 dB. So these are the two ways, via any one of you can calculate it. So answer is A. Let us check, this is the correct answer. Now moving towards the next and last question of today's lecture. An antenna has a noise temperature of 40 Kelvin is matched into a receiver which has a noise temperature of 100 Kelvin. If the bandwidth is given, what is the noise power? You know the formula of noise power is the product of K, T and B. But here temperature, there are two terms of temperature. One is the antenna, another is the temperature of the receiver. So you have to add both of these two terms. Let us solve this. Noise power is given by KTN into BN. From this particular term, you can calculate the noise power. K is the constant. Its value is 1.38 into 10 raised to the power minus 23. TN is the temperature which includes the antenna temperature, which is the 40 Kelvin and the receiver temperature, which is 100 Kelvin. So this is the total 140. BN, the bandwidth is being given, which is 36 megahertz. So it is 36 into 10 raised to the power. 6. Now substitute all these values in the equation of Pn. Noise power is denoted as Pn. This is what k which is 1.38 into 10 raised to the power minus 23. T which is 140 into B which is 36 into 10 raised to the power 6. Simplify it this value would be 69.55 into 10 raised to the power minus 15 something watt. So if you convert it in picowatt, it would be 0 0.069 picowatt. Let us check the answer. Yes, this is the correct one. Sorry. Answer is C, which is the correct option. You can match it from the answer which you have calculated. So C is the correct option. 
I hope now all these questions are very much clear to you and you can solve some more questions based on the satellite channel and link design. Thank you so much.